Hey guys, what's up Taurus? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. We're going to do an in-depth love reading. We're going to look at two future outcome positions, the intent, the hopes, the fears, the external factors. I'll give you timing on anything. If it comes across, it looks like actually something is manifesting right now or being manifested, but you're not seeing it just yet. It's like it's still hidden there with the moon. All right, so Taurus. Remember that the energies can be reversed. So flip how you need to. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. And if you'd like to contact me for a personal reading, that is below as well. It looks like going from like not showing a lot of feelings to coming right back. Um, there could be a lot of worry around, uh, it could be a liberal legal situation. In general, it feels like there's a situation that's stuck. All right, or not moving, I should say. All right, so Taurus, you got the Queen of Wands crossed by the Page of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords. You are looking really good. With, like that's that's the first energy that's there is like your beauty, which is you know not shocking, not surprising. It does look like you're walking away from something or someone. Could be a Capricorn, but the fear is like something being toxic. Uh, past patterns repeating, and you do have a stalker vibe here. You are moving forward and focusing on you. This is what's going on. Um, that's kind of what I was talking about. All this is kind of the future. There's a lot of anxiety in the past. And the fear now is the devil. It could be a Capricorn. But in general, um, based on this energy, right, you are very attractive. You have options. Be mindful of gossip because you also have haters with this energy. But there is a situation or there, there may be of like, like it could be a lot of passion, a lot of like physical stuff, but it's not elevating. So it does look like there's something here that, you know, you're intending on walking away from and disconnecting from because the fear is toxicity. But at the same time, there's this level of like somebody could definitely be obsessed with you because you have this stalker vibe that's going on here but that energy is the fear so that's why your intent is to walk away because it's something that you know you feel like isn't your highest good and you do have other options one particular situation somebody could have been more non-committal kind of in and out player energy for the external factors, you got the Queen of Cups. So, water energy. All right, let's get it for Taurus. We're going to clarify. We're going to kind of start how it's all going to wrap around. Not uh, completely, but... And then we'll go with the past and work our way around. Show me this Queen of Wands, please, for Taurus. You got the Six of Swords. You're moving on from something here or someone. Show me this Page of Pentacles. You got the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is clarified by the Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> and usually, uh, you could be dealing with another Earth sign, but um, you have other options here. In a situation, it looks like it's kind of just let you down and you're moving on. But this energy that it looks like you're moving on from will pop back up. So, but like I said, you have options. You have choices. All right. So in the past, the Nine of Swords. A lot of worry, anxiety, stress, sleepless nights. Show me that Nine of Swords for Taurus, please. You got the wheel and the devil. So that's why the devil is here for fear. It's based off the past. Whether it's a person, 
a behavior trait, a way of doing things. Um, it could definitely be a person though, but sometimes with the wheel and the devil, like we can keep going back to a situation or a way of doing things. And we know it's not productive, but it's like, it can work out, it can work out. That will come back towards you, um, like that test is there, but it's something based off the past that's now a fear. I have one more on that devil. The Eight of Swords. Whatever this was, whoever this was, caused a whole lot of anxiety. But with the wheel there, it does look like you're kind of, you know, outgrowing that. This situation wasn't allowing you to grow, to expand, to kind of, you know, meet, get what you wanted out of things. And sometimes anxiety alone can be the devil. Self-sabotage. Show me the Eight of Wands for the current energy. This can still go about a week out. The Eight of Wands is communication. Um, it doesn't necessarily look like it's something that you're going to... We'll see when we get over there. Show me that uh, Eight of Wands, please. You got the Ten of Pentacles. This can be a couple of things. With the, um, it does look like there's some unexpected communication. But with the Ten of Pentacles, um, you know, that can have to do with family. But it also can have to do with, like, uh, your money, your security, your finances. Because you got the Eight of Wands again. So, you do have some communication that's that's coming in here. Hmm. Possibly from somebody who knows that they let you down. They may have been having financial issues, but also um, there could have been some insecurities within self. So show me that Eight of Cups for Taurus. So again, this is the intent. The Eight of Cups is walking away, pulling away emotionally, falling back type thing. And you got the Eight of Wands and the Four of Cups. But you got to understand, you're in this Queen of Wands energy. So your intention, or vice versa, is to walk away and not take any action towards this. To kind of leave it behind. Because in the past, you see, this was the devil. Whatever this was, it became the fear. And your intent is now to not go towards it. And because you are in this Queen of Wands energy, it's like you're fed up. You're not dealing with it. You got other options. You got, you know, other things to do. Not dealing with it. Yeah, see, the Queen of Wands, the tower, we've had enough. You're letting go, moving on. Show me this Page of Swords, please, for the near future. If you work with this person, they could definitely be asking, like, co-workers about you. But in the near future, we got the Page of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles. So you are coming into this energy where, you know, something in the past, whether it was a person or within self, may have caused a lot of self-doubt, a lot of insecurities, a lot of, like, making somebody think that you couldn't achieve what you can so um what the intent is to kind of ignore that in the near future you're focusing on yourself there is a lot of you know kind of coming into the single ready to get back out there there can be you know if there was any type of insecurities and things like that in the past all that's being reversed whether it's on a physical level a workout getting a haircut finances all that it's it's really a good reading it's like you're you're done with the BS. Show me this devil for a fear. For the fear. Sorry. The King of Pentacles. That's Earth energy. You could be dealing with another Earth sign. But this energy uh, is can go a couple of ways. This can be somebody who is very possessive and does not like to let go. This could be somebody for financial reasons. Like this can be... Um, what am I going to say? Like a gambling, even a hoarding energy. Somebody who can be very materialistic at times. But because we even have like this, this kind of obsessive energy in the past. Um, I mean, at the beginning of the reading that was felt, 
You know, I think the fear is, yeah, I mean, the games. Possibly for some, a third party situation. And this is a pretty typical, I mean, understandable fear. You get the devil and the seven of swords, especially if you've experienced it in the past. Show me this Queen of Cups, please, for external factors. For Taurus. Queen of Cups is water energy, but you also have the Hierophant, which is your energy. There's a whole lot of like intuitive energy, a lot of self-growth, kind of getting back out there, taking care of you, and also like things being legit and not one-sided. You got the Ace of Wands. Um, for some, it's like this, this, what you're moving away from or intending to pull away from isn't pulling away from you. It does look like there's an opportunity coming for something brand new, though. So show me this Five of Wands for hopes. <laughs> you got the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Cups. You have options, but with this and with this intent, this is hopes, this is intent. You're not planning on budging towards this. This person is gonna is intimidated by you as well, like especially on a financial or business level, something like that. Like you're holding your own and you're going to hold that. That's contentment right there with that Nine of Cups. You're not budging towards this. You see how the arms are crossed in both of these? You're moving on. All right, so for the further out outcome, you got the Ten of Swords. Because this fear of the Seven of Swords is here, it's very possible, like, you know, something may have caused somebody to feel very betrayed in the past. And so that's, that's kind of what you're moving away from. Show me this Ten of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles. You're cutting out someone or something here that's no longer serving you with that Ace of Swords. Um, you're in a very no BS type energy. You do have the Two of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. So you, you do have choices here. You have options. You're looking good. You're moving on. Definitely. For some, you could be moving, you could be traveling, but it does look like there's something else that picks up there because right after that, there's a conversation that happens, but you are closing a chapter. And timing can be as early as June, but it really feels like something about September as well has a pretty strong pull on it. But the, yeah, okay. The next official timing is is June but please take your time with that because you will have a choice in this past energy is still lingering there all right Taurus I hope this helped if it resonated please make sure that you like and subscribe below you like to contact me for a personal reading that is below as well you guys take care and i will see you next time